Hi, I'm Emily Lusk, a consultant with Ellipse Solutions. I'm very excited to show you some of the new features of AX7 today. While there are very few functional changes from 2012 to 7, there's a new look to AX. It's now a browser-based platform making it available on all of your everyday devices. The first thing you will notice is that the home page looks very different. It's now made up of workspace tiles, a calendar, and your same work items assigned to me section. Starting at the top left of the screen, the Dynamics AX button will bring you back to this main page. Under that, you have a drop-down for all of your modules. You will notice the list is a lot longer than what we're used to seeing. Microsoft has broken up many modules to give major processes their own area. You'll see credit and collections, tax, fleet management, time and attendance, and others with their own module now. When you select a module, the area page that we're used to seeing is going to pop out. It looks just like our 2012 area page, but with the addition of workspace links. Similar to 2012, you have the ability to make your favorites with the click of a button. Hover over a link on the page and the outline of a star will appear. Select the outline and the link will now appear in your favorite section in the top left of your favorites page. Selecting the star again will remove it from your favorites. One thing you may have noticed is that the drop-down we're selecting our, our module from does not have your entity selection like in previous versions. Changing entities is now at the top right of the page. Selecting the entity will then give you a pop-out drop-down to select and change. Also in the upper right of the screen, you have the ability to search AX for pages. As I type in the word product, you'll see a list of potential pages that I'm looking for begin to appear. I can select one of these and I'm brought directly to that area. The question mark will give you the option to navigate to Microsoft's help, which opens on the right side. There are areas for task guides and wiki, though they aren't fully populated by Microsoft yet. The smiley face icon will allow you to submit feedback, likes and dislikes, along with comments, to Microsoft regarding the new AX. Now I'm going to show you what these workspaces are all about. They are great pages where you can get quick metrics and information for specific tasking. We're going to look at the customer invoicing workspace. A workspace is divided into three parts. On the left, we have the summary section. This is going to give you those quick metrics. Then you're going to have tabs that will give you key information regarding invoicing, and we'll open up a list page with that data. Lastly, on the right, we have quick links and reports related to invoicing. If we want to keep this page open and navigate elsewhere within AX, we can use the window pop-out function. In the top right corner, you'll see a double window icon. Select this, and you'll get a new link. That's all we have for part one of navigation. I hope you found it useful, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.